Right, this is I'm just going to film some photographs I took. As you can see, I labelled my triple print photos May 98. This was May 1998 at Silverstone. I met um, Derek Bell and what looked like his girlfriend at the time. I'm in that photo, but I'm not showing that for privacy reasons. I'm in the photo with him. Um, anyway, there's Derek Bell, Le Mans winner. And then in, I got I got invited into one of the garages at Silverstone for some reason. I can't even remember why it's so long ago. But they had some promotional women being allowed into one of the panel's um, sports cars. And they even allowed one of the engineers switch the engine on and let her rev the engine. And that's her holding her chest feeling scared because it was a very powerful, awesome sounding car. Whatever engine they had in that. That's one of the models sitting in the car there revving it and as you can see triple print they give you one main photograph and then they used to give you two little photographs of the same picture so you could cut those and give them to someone I, I presume but anyway so photographs I'm just going to film and then they had the um, promotional women decided to um, bare their chests so to speak try and get an angle on this without too much reflection there you go, there's the panels card they're sitting on. Some of the models were absolutely gorgeous. You can see it looks to be I'm in the Dams sports car team's garage. And then they started lifting up their tops and <laughs> showing their um, their bras off. So, as you can imagine, it was time to start snapping. Um, I'm not sure if it was this dark or not. The, the photographs have probably lost a little bit of colour over the years. Um... Let's see if I can get a better angle on these. As you can see, quite a few of them decided to flash their bras. And I was in prime position to get a good picture of them. So, uh, let's show you. I can't get... How am I supposed to get this without getting too much reflection? It's the problem with trying to film photographs. Um, I'm getting a lot of reflection. Anyway, as you can see, that was quite a quite an interesting time for me at Silverstone. There you go. Awesome car as well. Uh, this one, yeah, it's definitely the Dams team were doing this for some reason. Had these promotional women here. I don't know why, who they were with, I can't see any, there is a logo on their tops but I can't get any detail on who they were, who they were from, not sure, and yeah this, this was probably the most attractive lady that was there, this blonde She was fit. Um, there we go. Don't know the names of any of these models. If anybody does somehow know who they are, let me know. Be interested to know who they were and who they were, who they were from, as in what who they were representing. Somebody had paid them to be there for some photo shoot, I presume. But um, lucky me, I was there right at the right at the exactly the right time when they did all this. Okay, a couple more pictures to show you. So obviously this was taken with some 35mm um, camera I had at the time. Nothing professional, this was just a cheap cheap camera that probably cost less than 40, 50 quid I would have thought. Um, oh and let's just see, the back of the Agfa is what these pictures were printed on. 
So as you can see, that's the company I used to use, Triple Print. Can't remember how much they used to charge for developing a 24 or 36 roll film, but um, colour triple prints. That's that. Anyway, that's that particular film. I've got some more I'm going to film in separate videos. I'll go through my photos and upload them to YouTube so people can see them. Um, don't know whether I'm going to... No, I'm not... For privacy reasons, I'm not going to show my face because uh, Facebook is basically building up a database of everybody. God knows what they're going to do with all the information, but there was me wearing my Ferrari top back in the day. And I got his autograph. I got Derek Bell's autograph and some other of the drivers that were in the sports car event that day. Um, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.